Welcome back everybody. Today is the day that we are getting our pigs and I also feel so bad today. I was like awake all night with severe stomach pain. I know why it's happening. I'm not contagious, but anyway, Nick and the older girls went to go get them. So once they get here, they'll be here soon. Oh, hobble out there. I'm trying to get some footage. So, of course, it's like the worst day possible. I wanted to plant my garden, all of my um, Direxo stuff today and tomorrow. So, I really hope I feel better tomorrow because right now I'm not going to be hobbling out there anytime soon to garden. But, yeah. I even tried to put makeup on so I'd feel better. <laughs> It didn't work, so, yeah. Huh? Did you open this up? You'll block that? So there's two on the tree in there. Which way? Oh, okay. So... We're getting some pigs. They're in there right now. Why did you put them around? So I'm gonna we're gonna put the baby in a different pig pen and then we're gonna do everything. Yeah. Ooh. You had to pick it up. Oh no. Oh no, the pig almost got out. So there's the baby. Uh, I think we should need a Woo! Uh, we go get a super. Super. There's next to one on the coast. So we got, we got the mama and daddy in there. And we're getting that little piggy right now. So we're going to keep them, and then we're going to make more babies, and then that one, the little baby, we're going to eat. This dad is huge. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Look at that guy. He's huge. Okay, so we're getting the pig, the baby, and we're gonna put it. We're gonna put the pig, the piglet. I'm not posting this. I know. We're putting the baby inside of the pen. Stop it! <laughs> we got two huge things of food. Sorry. Got to see. Oopsies. Got two huge things of food. We got this one and then this one. So, we're putting the baby in there, see, right now. 
it is not wanting to go in there. Wait, can you guys see that? Okay. Okay, so we finally got it in, so I'm gonna go, excuse me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go show you guys the yard that's going in. Okay. Ready, you guys? I'm gonna get on um, my wheels. This is mine now. Okay. This is stuck with me. So today is my birthday and I'm 18. So I'm moving out. Bye guys. Now it's me back. Again, I'm back. I'm back, babes. So I'm gonna take you on a ride with me. Okay, so ready? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. So it accidentally did this where someone that post accidentally made this down. So I gotta pull it up so I can drive it. Or else it would have been bad if I didn't pull that up. It would have spun and spun really, really fast and stuck into circles. So that's why I did that. Now I'm gonna go to the pen that we're gonna put them in. You should come with me. right now they're so pretty they're like oh my gosh you guys look at that it's like whipped cream in the sky so it's gonna be a lot of fun and are you guys ready to see i'm using my mom's phone right now and um hey she told me i could so that's why i'm using her phone but i want to see the yard that we're gonna put the little piggy pig in okay so I'll show you it. So that's the yard. Oh, sorry, you guys. Ah. So that's the yard. There's electric fencing, so they're picking they out. There is that. This is the whole yard. It's pretty, pretty darn big. Pretty darn big. Okay, so everybody. Okay, so right now we're getting the trailer over here so that the pig can go into water. quarantine so whenever you guys get out of quarantine then you should like go to dinner with your family first whenever you get out because you'll get to spend a lot of time with your family so yeah bye So mom's giving backup signals. Dad is getting that ready. So he's backing up. and leave a comment and make sure to like it and subscribe and turn on push notifications. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it's a great day on the farm. Cut trees. Clouds are so pretty today. You see that? The 
thing is just running everywhere. He's trying to find his mom. I think it has a charge, charge be our sow so we have one of her babies that will raise up for meat right now and then this is Wilbur so her baby is her baby is six months so she's ready to breed again so that's why we put these two together so we're just getting used to their new digs hey Wilbur Classic home studying moment. But the so she just sat on that thing and broke it right off the bat. I know she just laid them. And that is a hog waterer. Won't they just put their hooves on it? I feel like then they'll just stick their feet in it and try to pull it down. You can well, their snout needs to be high enough Andre. to where they can... put it lower. Andre. Huh? Okay. Yeah, lower? but then we have that same problem. Andre. If they lean on it. Andre. I still think they'll put the front hooks on it and just pull it down. Because we're going to eat it. No, the bacon even too. Okay. No. Go into the workshop. Go get the... Um, What's Who going on, Tizzy? Who's here? That's the one that has the star head. The one that we usually do for them. Okay, so they are still fixing the pig water. And I'm going to come check on our little girl here. So she is going to be the one that we raise for meat. The other two will be breeding. These pigs are American guinea hogs and they take longer to um, be ready for butchering. They take more like a year instead of like six months. So it looks like she is getting used to where she's at. So we had the goats come through here and they basically ate all the leaves off of everything. So I'm hoping that she will have fun in here and turn up all of the roots of the leaves. She's just drinking water over there and eating some of the nice lush stuff over there where the water leaks. So the kids decided to name her Peanut even though I told them that we were going to eat her. They said they didn't care. <laughs> they want to name her Peanut. Peanut! She doesn't know her name yet. Hi, baby pig! So she's six months old. So we have about another six months before she's ready to be butchered. So one of the things that we have heard a lot about American guinea hogs is that, um, first of all, they only get to be around 300 pounds. So having them in smaller spaces is better. They don't eat as much as well. Like they'll eat just a few scoops of food a day. Um, whereas market pigs, it's almost like you can't feed them enough. You know what I'm saying? So we thought this might be a good start for us. And also they're a more rare heritage breed. And we do want to make sure that as we move forward, we're introducing um, new and rarer um, types of breeds 
um, into our area instead of oversaturating the market. So that's one of the things that we want to do here on the farm as well. I still think that we'll probably end up getting mangalita pigs as well, but for now this is what we could find. Um, it's kind of hard to find any kind of pigs right now, so we're just taking what we can get. And these ones are supposed to be really, really good for lard. So soap making, um, all that kind of stuff, cooking, they, they produce a lot of lard. Um, smaller cuts of meat, but really, really good cuts of meat. So that's kind of what we're looking at um, when we were deciding if we were going to get this breed or not. Piggy! She's just chilling out over there. So also after a couple weeks, we'll take Petunia and we'll put her in here with um, this pig and then we'll move the boy to an electric fence. Um, we're hoping to get another electric fence netting set up so we can have our male goats, our weathers, and also our um, buck rotating through pasture. We have a lot, <laughs> a lot and a lot of space, even in just the front yard. So we want to put the goats on, goats on first so they eat all the leaves like I showed you and then put the pigs through and have them turn up the ground and eat all the roots. So that's what we're hoping for. And if we can just get one more set or one more like electric netting fencing, then we can get that rotation going on. And I think it'll be really a great option for our animals and it'll help. Um, I have dreams of having a pasture in the middle of the desert. So we'll see what we do with that. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'm sure that we'll be sharing a lot more soon on our farm. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, the notification bell, and the thumbs up for this video if this was interesting to you. We'll see you next time. Bye.